Land Rover Freelander 2. Love time. So, Freelander 2. This is the facelift Freelander 2. This is as good as the Freelander 2 got, Tyler. This has got the Xenon lights, the facelift, the DRLs. It's got the late top grille and bumper. It's got everything going. This is too, this is so good. It's not mine. It's Ben's, isn't it? Ben, our in-house photographer slash designer. So it's his car. And he said, Simon, we designed all these cool products for Land Rovers. Did you know the Achilles heel of the Freelander 2? And I said, no. Oh, Freelander 2, no, no problems with it at all. Brilliant car. And he said, well, there is. There's a, little, there's a little thing that bugs everybody with these flash later ones. He said, come here and have a look, Simon. So I did. And he said, look, look at all this. They all do blotchiness on this sort of frame bit here. For some reason, this grill bit here is unaffected by it. But this surround, I don't know whether they chrome plated it. And you think, well, maybe it's just like a sort of staining. So you think, don't worry, I'll get a bit of tea cut out. It'll buff out in a no problem at all. Don't try this at home. Watch, watch the video first, because it doesn't come out as well as you would think. So if you, if you start to polish it here, all you do is you sort of polish through the silver. It's like a superficial thin coat and, and they, it's very thin and, and you end up just, as you can see there by my superb reciprocating action, you just polish it out now. Maybe if you've got lots of time on your hands, you could tea cut the whole grill all up here, all up there and get rid of it all. Save yourself some money. Or for those of you who have less time and more money, you could use this come with me Ta -da! look at this our latest product our freelander 2 grill upgrade repair kit and basically as you can see this is a injection molded part we've designed this and made this and this is going to go in here and it's going to fit on there and you would never know that it has been done now ben wants black on his but you can see oh it always sticks too well tyler it clips in right then so what we've got just to show you not only double-sided tape we we try to make things clip in so it's got these little clips here and these little clips under here and you can see some double-sided tape right. so I'm gonna get it right today Tyler right so the first thing you do when you have anything to stick on on a car or is that you offer it up into place to make sure it fits Make sure you've got the right bit. So we're all happy. Oh, that looks nice. That does actually look nice, doesn't it? Definitely yeah. Um, so we're happy with that. Right, so then you've got to wriggle it out again, which isn't too hard. Just watch those clips at the bottom. Right. Then we're going to grab our alcohol wipe and de-slime the car. De-slime it. But these cars are still worth, they hold their money really well, these late model Freelander 2s, and it can let down. I mean, Ben's car's immaculate other than this, isn't it? Yeah. He's got the side steps, he's got the body kit. I don't know if he's ever had an issue with it. Mm. He did have that issue when he bought it, and that's why we think he got it for a good price. He had that, it would clunk in neutral when you'd been, but that was just a software update um, that Land Rover did to improve. It was, I forget what they call it, it was a, we did, I think we did a video on it. It was um, neutral something or other. But yeah, they programmed it to drop into neutral when it was idle. But then as you put it in gear, it would clunk and stuff. I mean, right, here we go, we're pulling off the double-sided tape. Oh, this isn't too bad. Some of that tape we've had recently has been a bit, yeah. a bit hard to get rid of, but these are okay. Right then. There we go, so we have all those, but it mainly clips in there. The, the pads really are as much to stop it rattling or vibrating. Right then, am I gonna go one side first? Should I go, I'm gonna get that side in. I'm gonna just shove it in there. It's just you, is it? Shove it in, I'll be all right. There we go. Make sure those out a bit through. You would not know, Tyler. It's like, 
It's like better than new. There we go. Ah, she looks lush. So, well, that's a good question, Tyler. You can't buy a new grill because the grill is part of the bumper. It's all welded together. So you can't even buy a new grill. So you're kind of pooped unless you go to a body shop. Um, so we've got those in silver. We've got them in gloss black. Have we got them in matte black as well? No. Um, we've got them in primer. If you want them in another color, let us know because we've got a bunch of primer ones that we can send off to the painters and get painted. Or if you want them in primer and do them your own pink or whatever, we'll sell you a primer one. Right, that's enough for the day. Good luck with that. Right, I was just looking at my own work. And one thing I don't think I cleaned properly, so you can do a better job than I did. Make sure you clean right up in this top corner because there's a little bit of tape behind here and I didn't clean it really. And where it's quite small, it, it doesn't seem to have much area to stick. So, and I didn't clean, I just did the big bit. So make sure you do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit because I did a rubbish job. I'm gonna just add a bit of silicon in the back here. Okay, and I'll, I'll wipe that off in a second. Okay, and I'll, I'll just, there you go. And I'll clean that, clean that off with a baby wipe. And I'll put a bit of masking tape on that. Um, but that was my fault because I didn't clean it properly. So just make sure you clean right up in that top corner properly. And if you get a problem, just put a bit of silicon on. I'll grab that now, put a bit of masking tape on there overnight and it'll be good as gold.